All right, so uh, welcome to the channel, guys. Welcome to Rad Tarot. It's uh, it's Rad, and uh, in this whole video, we're going to look into Capricorn and uh, what they are to experience into the upcoming week, uh, October twenty sixth to uh, November first, twenty twenty. And um, should you be interested into a, a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below, and there you're gonna find. Uh, a link to my website. As well, uh, in this website, you can sign up for a tarot classes in case you are interested in digging deeper into tarot and learning tarot yourself. So with that being said, let's move to the spread. This is going to be an eight cards a tarot spread um, divided on two layers. Now, the first layer is going to show up your romantic and uh, love life into the upcoming week. The bottom layer or the downer layer is going to uh, describe your professional manifestation, which relates to career, job, private businesses, etc., etc. So, um, just so I make it easier for myself, I'm going to turn one layer first, make my interpretation for it, and then the downer layer after that. So let's have a look. We do have the Ace of Cups into the love reading, uh, into the love, into the love layer of the spread uh, and it is followed by the seven of swords uh, into the uh, second card of it followed by the king of cups here and the last one that is to be the six of a wands well wow, that, that that is so loud okay it's so loud and in fact the message is pretty simple uh, the message pretty much speaks that you do have something that really worth fighting for in terms of law. For example, person that really worth fighting for, marriage that really worth fighting for, relationship that really worth fighting for. But because we do have those two together, it doesn't look like that the whole thing is in its, its prime, to say the least. And it kind of looks like that at that particular stage, either of you uh it's pulling into their own direction so it's kind of like you both are pulling into your own separate ways and i know that you cannot answer me that right now but i would like to ask you who is winning of it and the answer is pretty simple nobody so that's the huge issue that we do have here that is the problem that stands um in term of to develop or to unfold your love and romance throughout the week itself it is just stop playing hard just go along with it for uh with the ace of cups at the start of the reading um how can i describe it the week will present you and your personal interest you in general because you are a capricorn with circumstances that are going to make whatever you are fighting over with your person of interest or, you know, with your beloved one, um, with the person you want to be with, completely and totally irrelevant. And the, the, the big reason for it is going to be that person itself. For example, they may gift you something out of nowhere. They could say, I'm sorry, or something like that. They could, you know, uh, present you with a surprise that really is going to touch your heart. And it's going to make whatever fights you had over beforehand totally irrelevant. It's like they never happened. But that can only take place, once again, if you lose the news a little bit. Because with Seven of Swords, it seems that you are way too stiff, hanging on your own things. And if you don't have it your way, you're not going to have it anyway whatsoever. And that's not how it works in relationship, at least not in my book, at least not in the book of Tarot. Yes, sometimes you can have it your way because your way is also the way of the other person, but not this time around, at least not according to this reading. And surprisingly, the person we're talking about here, which is going to be different for every single one of you, because, you know, you're not all loving the same man or the same wo woman at the same time. It's uh, surprisingly, how can I say, fit for the lack of better word. What I mean is that anybody on their place would have bailed out but they don't at that point for many reasons 
uh, one of the reasons that comes to my mind here in looking at the King of Cups straight away is that that person really understands that everybody operates in a different way and what is acceptable for you is not acceptable for them and what is acceptable for them isn't acceptable for you. So genuinely that person tries to understand you and before they draw a line, if they are to draw a line, and make a severance, for example, if they are all to, uh, at all to make a severance, they try to see the things from your eyes and they try to uh, kind of like make sense of the severance that they may decide to do. And I'm, and I'm stressing this thing out. They may try to do. But for now, if it is crossing their mind, for what it seems, it is the last resort thing that they are going to do. And should you play by the rules here, meaning that you do accept, you know, that <laughs> you can't always have it your way and sometimes you have to make, you know, compromises and you have to accept that we do operate in a different way and just go along with it, okay? At the end, for what it seems, a uh, peak of experience awaits you. What that peak of experience is going to be will be different for every single one of you, but one is certain, uh, you are going to like it, okay? So moving next, we do have the uh, professional manifestation, very strong start once again with the Knight of a Pentacles, followed by the Queen, oh my God, the Queen of Wands. Uh, moving next, we do have the uh, Ace of a Swords. Oh, and the last one, that is to be the Star card. Just give me a second, and I do apologize, the voice is outside. I don't know why people have to shout all the time when they're talking to one another. Right, so, uh, throughout this week, uh, you, are, you, you are have to follow something in a consecutive basis in the sense of that it's going to be step by a step and uh, in a rather slow pace. Maybe it's going to be slower than you would like to be, uh, for all I can say here. But the, the, the plus side, if I may say it that way as well, is going to be on a positive end in the sense of that at least it's going to be consistent. And uh, with the Knights of Pentacles, uh, things develop uh, in a string, in a sense of that you can't do B if you have not accomplished A. And for that reason, is going to be uh, the uh, career development throughout the week itself is going to be rather uh, slow, but once again, uh, uh, consistent to say the least. What well, now? What is the problem? Why things are not developing with the speed that you may would like to? Uh, that is residing here with the Ace of a Swords and it points that there are to be things coming up that you haven't taken under consideration previously, okay? And now a serious thought and a very solid plan needs to back up those things for otherwise they're gonna get out of hand. And as you can see in the card, if these things are the sword, you have to grip it with a firm fist here, okay? And, and that takes time. You can't, you can't do it straight away. So the uh, Ace of Swords here points that throughout the week you are to adopt or rather like uh, obtain a pretty good view, pretty good feel and as well a diagnosis over how far you are and what needs to be done in order to get much further than you are. Another problem that we do have it is this woman here. Well, it could be a man as well, but it's with a family energy, which is the Queen of Wands. And for the most of you, that will be stronger than you are. What I mean is that it's going to be in a higher position. And it's just the problem is the, um, the cockiness of that person. Simply that person thinks that they are way smarter than they are. Or that, this, well, they can be smart, but the situation does not allow flexibility. Now, that is with the Knights of Pentacles. There is no flexibility. Things need to happen in a certain order. Uh, and if you are not following this uh, particular sequence, everything goes in the dumps, but not according to this person here that we do have, Queen of Wands. And that person will try to smart their thing through the situation. And if you allow this to happen, everything is going to crumble but not without a point of salvation. Because by the end, with the star card, 
you are to live to your high standards. Maybe further down the road, maybe in a couple of months from now, maybe in a, in a couple of years, maybe in a 10 of years, but whatever your plans are that you are to establish throughout the week in terms of career, regardless of how big standards those are to you, you are gonna live up to them with the star card. And uh, it's very possible by the end of the week that uh, a project or a job, you know, or, or some kind of an endeavor enterprise in terms of career takes place that is going to give you a thing to look forward to in the long, long run. That could be your permanent contract that signs you in a place for five years. You know, that could be the deal that is going to bring you million dollars and you don't have to care. You don't have to be stressed for money anymore and so on and so forth. But your your career by the end of the week is going to make so much more san sense than the start of the week itself. So that being said, Capricorn, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.